Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, welcome. Uh, here we talk about home education and family life in a neurodivergent household. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, it's great to have you back. So today, as the title suggests, is another home ed video um, and I, I haven't got any more out school videos coming up in the future and you will have to excuse the mess behind me because uh, everything's a little bit crazy at the moment. Um, as I said in my previous video, we've had a new addition in our family, uh, which means housework is not my top priority. Our Hallie's hasn't been for the last couple of weeks. I'm slowly getting back into it and I am going to release some videos um, where I I'm getting everything back to how I want it to be um, and then we're gonna kind of see where that goes I feel like I need the videos to keep me accountable um, so that would be that would be helpful for me whether you guys want to watch it or not is another matter. So today we're going to talk about paw print badges and how they can supplement your child's education. So this is not an ad or a sponsored video or anything like that. This is literally just something I love. Um, as a guiding leader and as a mum who has children in guiding and scouting, this is just perfect for our family. Um, paw print badges are amazing and I will put the link to their website in the description and show you some of the stuff. So here I've printed off the one of the challenge packs. So to give you an idea, this is it's a bit uh, it's a bit crumpled because it's been um, upstairs in my dining room. So this was a challenge pack we used a little while ago uh, in June for the 30 days wild challenge. So every challenge has a printable like this. You can get it printed by them. They will print it for you just from their own printers, and they'll send it to you in the post, or you can print it yourself. So um, a Oh, I'm holding two, that's why. I was like, why is it so thick? That's two. Um, so, we have got... Uh, it gives you the title. And I don't have the description page because I never need them because I've used it so many times. But it shows you for your child's age group how many um, activities they recommend doing to earn the badge. And obviously, we're home editors, so we can do whatever the hell we like. Um, I do four activities for a badge, unless I'm trying to eke it out longer, and then we might do eight. I'm just trying to keep an eye on my uh, new edition, make sure she's not getting up to any mischief. Uh, and I can see her, she's fine. <laughs> she's in my eyesight uh, playing happily, so mm. that's fine. Um, so you've got three, no, four different categories, sorry. You've got food, games, other, and where's the other one gone? And craft. There you go, and craft. So. Um, the idea is do one from each category and then the older your child gets you can add more in uh, up to um, teenagers who they suggest doing um, two of each category. Um, we have been working on a few of these and I've got the badges to show you and I did in my previous video talk about these badges and um, some of the options and I, if you've watched it you may have seen them already. So I'm going to show you some badges we have already earned and I say we because sometimes I buy my, if I feel like I've worked hard I will buy myself the badge also because you know why not. So here are a couple of the badges and I'll put them up against my hand so you can just see how big they are um, and I will, if I can find it, it should be right next to me, compare it to a regular scouting badge which is the, pretty much the same size as girl guiding badge. There we go, that's how big the Stone Age badge is and let me zoom in for you. There it is, it's very detailed, there's a the little paw print and uh, the history badges are designed I think to just go in a timeline which is great. Um, have I got next to me a scouting badge? I thought I did. I don't know where it's gone. It was right here. I just took it out of the dog's mouth. Oh, here it is. Here is a badge that Albert earned at, at Beaver Scouts this term. And you see the difference in size. Let me put them up against each other. There we go. So that's a regular scouting badge for gardening, for beavers. And this is a paw print badge for learning about the Stone Age. So there's some of the ones we did um, coronation badge. Now we didn't actually, we only did like two, um, maybe three things to get the coronation badge. We watched the coronation. We um, made t-shirts for the coronation for the children to wear. And we also um, had like an afternoon tea. That's literally all we did. But you don't have to do the activities in the, um, 
in the packs. You can use them as ideas and make up your own. I have adapted a few before because I've been like, okay, none of these are suitable. Either I can't, uh, maybe I couldn't afford to do the things or I couldn't, or the kids just didn't want to do them. So we just made up our own around the same theme. So there's the Beltane badge. Ooh, there we go. Um, and we've also done another timeline one, which is the Egyptians. Uh, we've got some badges in here that we're going to be doing coming up. Here is the kindness challenge. And uh, we didn't celebrate Lisa this year because something we had, um, because it was the day my husband uh, lost his job. So we just weren't in the mood for celebrating anything. But um, so we won't, we won't do those this year. But this is a central badge for the Wheel of the Year for all you pagans out there. And if you are um, of another faith, then they do have other um, badges as well. They have badges for Jewish holidays, Muslim holidays, and Christian holidays. And I do believe there's others. I think there's Hindu holidays as well as like Diwali and Ho Holi. Is that how you say it? Um, so there's badges for everybody. So here they go together. Can't hold them all at the same time, but you get the idea. They slot in around the circle to make the wheel of the year which is just absolutely perfect hello sweetie okay i'm filming right now you just have to wait um one second i need to deal with my new edition who i will introduce you to very soon <laughs> in my next video actually oh my goodness as you can see i'm in a different location like i finished filming that part and then i had to um and the, the then <laughs> oh, it was just crazy I was just trying I was about to say what I was doing but that gives it away before the next video um so yeah I had to deal with our new audition because she needed my attention and needed lunch and um yeah just needed my attention for a little while and then she was ready for a nap so it was like purr down for a nap excuse me and then um get my own lunch get Charles Bessie and Albert's lunches and like <laughs> Um, I was like, oh, okay, can I get all of that done and still film before she wakes up? And the answer is yes, um, because she's in, her bed is literally behind the camera. Um, and I'm, and she's fast asleep still. So I'm being quieter than maybe I would have been downstairs. Um, and I will go downstairs in a little bit, but I ate my lunch up here just while she was still falling asleep. <sighs> so, um, yes, poor and badges, as we were saying. I'll wrap up the video now because we did talk a lot about it and yeah that's um it's a really really good idea we are planning to do several over the summer and we are also doing <clears throat> we're also using them for nature study from now on um a few friends and i do nature study um together and um we we're using a charlotte mason curriculum called between the lines but it kind of i don't know didn't really hit the spot and it certainly didn't hit the spot for the older ones um so and then we thought about exploring nature with children but I don't know it feels like it's been overdone I don't know um almost feels a bit too schooly for my liking I wanted it to be more free so with we, we went through the paw print badges and we found that there's enough for us to do one a month for two and a half years all nature themed um and some of them we could do like 30 days wild each year because they do um like update the badges and like the bird watching one they update um every year so like we can do those every single year um which means it will last probably almost into three years um before we've actually completed them all and they bring new ones out every single month so that's our plan with portrait badges and if you would like to join in um i um, I'm considering um, starting an online group for posting pictures of nature study using paw print badges. Um, it would be specifically for that rather than anything else. Um, I like to share activities and all of that sort of thing. Um, just kind of, we'll see how that goes. As I said, like there's a lot going on at the moment. I'm trying to get like life back in, like like the routines we had before. Obviously, we can't necessarily have them now, but um just trying to make new routines that work for everybody um hey Lels, new routines for everybody huh? yeah. we need to get back into our long walks but it's 
soon. Soon, huh? <laughs> ah, right. Enough of me making fuss of my dog. Just make sure she doesn't feel left out all the time with our new edition. And I'm going to say goodbye. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned because I will be announcing um, what's happened, what our new edition is, who our new edition is. Um, because um, I appreciate I'm being cryptic about it and they must be driving you insane. Um, and it's literally just because I have like a plan in my head. And my neurodiverse brain is not going to let me like say it beforehand so it'll ruin the next video uh, so stay tuned uh, come back uh, in a couple of days and you will see all you'll see all of that take care bye